The objective today is to use place value understanding to fluently add multi-digit whole numbers. Read this problem with me. We have 2,165 plus 3,472. Let's draw a tape diagram to represent this problem. First, we'll go ahead and model 2,165 within our tape diagram. Since we are adding or putting together these numbers, we'll continue our tape diagram here, and we'll label for that second number 3,472. What we're solving for is all this put together, or that sum, and we'll represent it with a variable, and in this case, we'll go ahead and choose the variable a. So what we're doing is we're putting together those two numbers to figure out their sum represented by that variable a. We'll use a place value chart to help us find the sum. I've drawn that place value chart, and now we'll go ahead and model each of those numbers. First, we'll model the number 2,165. Decomposing it and breaking it down, we have five ones, six tens, a hundred, and two thousands. Next, we'll model 3,472. Notice where it is that I am placing this number on the lower part of the place value chart. So that's two ones, seven tens, four hundreds, and three thousands. When we're adding these numbers together, we'll start in the ones place. So we have one, two, three, four, five ones, and two ones, which equals seven ones. So we'll go ahead and record that there. Next, we have six tens with seven tens. That equals 13 tens, in which case we can go ahead and bundle or regroup. How many do we bundle? Right, we'll bundle 10 tens together. And 10 tens does equal 100. And notice that we're placing that towards the lower part of the place value chart so we don't get confused with our other two digits. This leaves us with three tens there, which we can go ahead and record in the problem. And the 100 that we regrouped, we note that in our problem as well. As we continue to look, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six hundreds. We can record that in our problem. And finally, we have two plus three, thousands, equaling five thousands. Remember to place our comma, and let's read the whole problem together. 2,165 plus 3,472 equals 5,637. So that A in our problem, then, for our tape diagram, does equal... 5,637. Here we have another problem. 32,472 plus 28,256. Let's draw that tape diagram. The first add end there, 32,472, is actually just a little bit larger than 28,000. So we'll draw our tape diagram accordingly. 
and label each of those numbers. Remember, we're putting these two numbers together, or adding them. That's why it is that we're drawing the tape diagram like this here. And what we're solving for is that variable, or those numbers, that sum put together, and this time we'll call it b. I have a place value chart down here where we'll go ahead and model each of these numbers. You work this out at the same time that I'm working it out. And please bring in this piece of scratch paper. So set up that place value chart. Write down the problem. So this is your turn to try. You can check in with the video as you're trying that problem, though, so that we make sure in that first step, let's make sure we model that problem correctly. So pause the video while you put those two add-ends, those two numbers, into your place value chart. Remember, we put the first number towards the top, and then we'll put the second number below. So there is that first number modeled. It breaks down into three ten thousands, two thousands, four hundreds, seven tens, and two ones. The second number modeled is six ones, five tens. Notice that we'll have a regroup in the tens place for sure. We have two hundreds, eight thousands, and two ten thousands. We'll start our addition in the ones place, where we have two ones plus six ones equaling eight ones. Next we have seven tens plus five tens equaling twelve tens. So we'll be left with two, and we can regroup one hundred, which was those ten tens. Within the chart, you should have done this here, taken ten of those there, and regrouped it to the hundreds place. We now have 100, another 400s, and another 200s, which equals how many hundreds? Right, seven. Go ahead and pause the video again and see if you can complete the work for this problem. two thousands and eight thousands. Hope you have bundled that. Would actually equal one ten thousand. There is zero thousands left. That's why we place a zero here within our standard algorithm of adding these two numbers together. And finally, we have a regroup, of course. And then so we have one plus three plus two ten thousands, which equals six ten thousands. So our sum there is sixty thousand seven hundred twenty-eight, which, remember to record it over into the tape diagram as well. Remember that we call b, or any letter that is representing that number, a variable. And so we have our sum of those two numbers of 60,728. In this problem, we're asked to add using the standard algorithm. So we do not need a place value chart. Let's draw a tape diagram, though, just to represent this problem. And then so we have that first number, 208,732, and we're putting it together with 519,283. And then so we are figuring out that sum, because we're putting them together, and that's why we're labeling the tape diagram there. Let's assign it a variable, and in this case, we'll choose C. We'll add our units from right to left, just as we have done within the whole lesson. So we have two ones plus three ones equaling five ones. 
three tens and eight tens is eleven tens, where we will place one ten and regroup a hundred, one hundred, seven hundreds, and two hundreds. That's one plus seven plus two does give us ten which is ten hundreds, which is also a thousand. That's why we place a zero, and we regroup the one. Within the thousands place, we have one thousand, eight thousand, nine thousands, equaling eighteen thousands. We'll place the eight, and regroup the one. That's two ten thousands, and then seven hundred thousands. So C equals 728,015. Read the whole problem with me. 208,732 plus 519,283 equals 728,015. So we use the standard algorithm there. We drew our tape diagram and we regrouped where necessary. Your turn to work through this problem. Use the standard algorithm. Make sure to draw a tape diagram and pause that video. Here's that first add end. And make sure to extend your tape diagram so you're modeling that second add end. And remember, we're solving for the sum here. And you could have chosen any variable. I'm going to choose D this time. Seven ones, three ones is 10 ones. Zero, regroup the one. Adding up those tens, I get 14 tens. So I place a four and regroup the one. As I continue through that problem, You'll notice that my next regroup comes in the ten thousands place where I'm adding one ten thousand, six ten thousands, and two ten thousands to get nine ten thousands. And in the hundred thousands place, I have four plus two equaling six. So my sum there, I write it over into my tape diagram. And let's read the whole problem again. 465,197 plus 228,043 equals 693,240. So the key to the A is that we understand how to draw those tape diagrams, and we understand how to regroup while we were adding those numbers together. Not only using that standard algorithm, but also using those place value charts.